Hello Aquarius. I've forgotten what the date is. Um, it's the 7th, I think, 7th of December. It's Angel Spirit Guides Universe. What would you like Aquarius to know about this week of the 7th of December for the next seven days? Angel Spirit Guides and Universe. What would you like Aquarius to know about this week of the 7th of December? Let's the 7th of December for Aquarius, please. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. The next seven days. Angels, spirit guides, for the next seven days, give us the guidance for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, what would you like Aquarius to know? Okay. Okay, four of swords. Okay, you might not be feeling well at the moment, Aquarius. You might have a little bit of a cold. People aren't talking to you. You might be isolating yourself, just getting, contemplating your next move, getting rid of some of these worries. Four worries. Okay, so the first card is the hangman. It's the waiting period. It's the time out. Um, you've, you're sacrificing um, maybe being up in in working or up 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 on a pedestal or there could be a battle of wills going on because someone's taking too long you're being very very patient you're holding tight waiting back taking some time out um seeing things from a different perspective maybe there's been a fight or an argument or or some kind of uh people jealous of you at work um, but there's a new seed here being planted because you've got absolute truth and clarity. Um, you could be beginning, someone could give you a gift and along with that gift comes the truth. They've got the two aces, two new beginnings, you cut out the right people. It's maybe you're taking time out from being with a crowd of people that you don't actually like. You're planting a seed maybe for your own business. Maybe someone's giving you a ring or an engagement, but there's a start of something and it's the start of something just and truthful. Um, it could be with a water sign. You've got the King of Cups, the King of Love, uh, coming in to express their love to you. Um, it could be just you expressing your love, feeling, looking after yourself. We've got a, a couple of, if someone does come in and express themselves to you, it seems that it feels like it's an obstacle, like little things keep going wrong or just when you think it's safe to go back in the water, there's a storm comes up or someone can't get to you or there's a cancellation of a of a trip this week. <clears throat> You've got the Ace of, of Cups here, which is a new... You've got three, three aces in this reading. So you've got this a new love, new feelings of love, a new like home. It might You might fall more in love with your home. Um, it's like someone in love knows exactly what they want. You know exactly what you want. And you're going to focus on that. It's, you've, it's like you've decided now. Don't take on people's dramas. Go towards the new feeling of love and bringing something into fruition even if that's love for yourself you've got the sun here um health new beginnings joy there's something big coming in but there's there's also a big ending with the death card which was is going to enable you to be sovereign you've mastered a craft here you've once this transformation comes it could be that if you're involved with a scorpio they become sovereign or you it could be a new home you're thinking about a new home you're deciding maybe to travel um but the death here is usually when something is given up because regardless of whether you want to give it up or not it just comes in whatever this transformation is i don't feel it's a bad transformation it's the it's it's enlightenment it's a new beginning it's joy and it enables you to be independent to travel there's going to be a huge transformation it could be a spiritual transformation it could be the it could be that you want to move house and you didn't think you did and now you do. Um, 
but you're going to feel that you've mastered a craft and these people are jealous of it. You go from one, whatever you're planting the seed in, you're, and you're cutting the right people out. There's two little obstacles to get, or three obstacles. <laughs> Maybe you've already had the fight. Then there's this other obstacle where people are trying to push you off your path or little things are going wrong. I always use the analogy of a, a washing machine breaking down. But um, people are going to come to you with drama and you're already wounded. So we did have that four of swords at the bottom of the deck. You're already trying to get well or trying to go in solitude away from these dramas. You're, you're, you're taking this time out. And whilst you're doing that, a new love comes in. You've got three new beginnings this week. Um, you know exactly what you want. You know exactly how to move forward. You're very seen. The sun shines on you. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo, a Scorpio or a Pisces. Um, but you're becoming, master, you've mastered something. You could have mastered this transformation. This, it, it's, it's like a rebirth to self-employment, self-travel, um, a gift that you're really, really good at, that you take to the next level. Um, but it's like you've spiritually transformed, and that's what you're doing this week. You're taking this time out to get enlightened. When someone's coming in to give you health and strength, but something needs to be let go of. I'm going to cheat, Aquarius. I'm going to look in the book just to see what that sunshine is in 10 because I know it's a it's like a reunion or something. OK, so this struggle you're going through is that you're going to have future enjoyment despite this struggle. Um, da -da 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 -da. Right, so something to, there's like this triumph over something ending, okay, at the end of this week, and it enables you to be sovereign. This, this, it could be the end of singledom, I don't know, but there's this big triumph over ending something. Maybe this you're taking this time out from these people that don't have your best interests at heart. They're a little bit jealous, and um, there is love trying to come in, but you know exactly what you want and how to do it. This... Despite the present struggle, there's going to be victory and a victory in something being ended so that you can have this travel, this sovereignty, whatever it is. Um, Angel, spirit guides, Aquarius, please. Aquarius, what would you like Aquarius to know? Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others and wedding. This situation involves marriage. One more for Aquarius, please. Aquarius for the next seven days. Aquarius for the next seven days. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner. You seek and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, it looks like you already know what you want. Um, but it's almost like you've got to... You've made too, maybe you've made too many sacrifices for people that didn't deserve your time, I would say. And you need to concentrate on these brand new things that you're going to do. Um, I would say the money will build... But you need to let go and end something that wasn't serving you. But I think that's going to happen anyway. Angel, spirit guys, the person most on Aquarius's mind. What would they like to say to Aquarius? The person most, if the truth was told. You're going to get truth. You're going to get truth. Someone's going to tell you they love you. I regret lying to you. Angel, spirit guides. It could be... Yeah, this person wants... They know what they want. My life is not as together as it seems person most on Aquarius's mind just being near you is intoxicating and that's the same card because I've got two packs in here wonder if you're happy without me give me one more to Aquarius I knew exactly what I was doing and sometimes I stay awake thinking about you hmm. Angel spirit guides, what would you like Aquarius to know about this week? What would you like Aquarius to know about this week? What's the guidance? It's safe for you to love, be to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Yes, 
I am the angel of abundance. You'll receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Yep, we've got that death, sun and the nine of pentacles. Time out. Look at this. You can't write it down. Time out. You've been busy taking care of everyone else's needs and now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. These people around you, it's it, they're causing obstacle and burden. The next one from that nine of wands is a ten of wands. You're not even going to take yourself there. So bring you're, you're choosing, you're not being indecisive anymore. You're being enlightened and realising that something's got to come to an end if you're to have this money or this mastery. Uh, but in the meantime, do the hangman, take some time out. Um, hope I've helped you, Aquarius, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.